And I've got my pizza board. If you don't have one of these, I'm not really sure, like maybe you should just assemble it on that thing. It said, place your homemade pizza. I need help. Hi guys, I'm Katie and I'm a Tasty Producer. Today, we're gonna be testing and reviewing the Pizza Maker Plus. We're gonna see how well it works, if the food it makes tastes good, and if you should buy it. So let's make a pizza. All right, let's bring this thing out. It is pretty hefty. What I'm noticing right off the bat is there's English, and then there is, I think this is French? So it's the Pizza Maker Plus. In French, it's the Machine a Pizza Plus. I did that in Italian accent, so I don't know French. I can't speak French. I just can't imagine a lot of French people buying this, but if you do, let me know. They have a lovely pizza. They're getting a nice cheese pull here. I'm skeptical of this cheese pull, but maybe I shouldn't be. We're gonna use mozzarella when I make the pizza, which should give us a pretty good cheese pull. Their pizza's got a lot of toppings on it, some raw onions. I know that not everyone's a fan of that, but they like it. And there's got some pepperonis, and the pepperonis look like they have a nice little crisp on the edges. We'll see if that happens when we do it. I'm a little skeptical. Let's get into this bad boy. Hold on. Just one second. <laughs> I don't know why this isn't easier. It's packed in tight, people, which is good. Ooh, I like the red. You know, that's that's pretty. It's festive. And red says pizza, like sauce, tomatoes. Rip that open. Ooh, nice like textured top. And you know what? It isn't like a garish red. It's it's more like a maroony red. So if you had this on your kitchen counter, it's not like look at me. It's like look at me. All right. Looks nice on the inside, smells new, like a new pizza maker car. Feels nice, nice and smooth. So I think these are gonna be basically our like two hot plates, our griddles. I feel like doing tortillas in this would be nice. Pizza, we're gonna find out. Okay, well I'm gonna go get ingredients and then we're gonna try to make a pizza. Okay, I've got all my ingredients to make a pizza. I started to read the instructions. I know that I need olive oil. It also says that this whole thing gets very hot, so use mitts. Gonna do that. Before I get into that, I am going to flour my surface here. This is a fun part. I like making pizza because you get to play with dough. I love pizza. It's my go-to thing that I make on the weekends or like order. Just when I'm having friends over or a game night, I'm obsessed with pizza. I'm also obsessed with cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? So pizza is basically just a vessel for cheese, isn't it? I love thin crust pizza, so I'm rolling this out pretty thin. So as they said in the instructions, I'm gonna brush this down to help the non-stick. This will just ensure, I guess, that nothing does stick to this pan. Cause I think cleaning this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Lift the lid upright carefully, place your homemade or frozen pizza. So I have to make it before I place it on there. I'm just using some like jar marinara, but I'm adding some garlic. It just takes the flavor up a notch and I love garlic. This looks good. And and I'm just gonna spread some of that on my pizza. I'm not a huge sauce lady. I'm gonna need a pizza board to transfer this because this could be a mess. So now I'm gonna add cheese. Again, I love cheese. Try to get that nice cheese pull that they had on the box. And mozzarella, just so you guys know, is a great pulley cheese. We're doing little baby pepperonis because I think they're fun. Okay, well, they're not that little. They're like the size of my eye. That looks like a, you know, a normal pizza. Now I gotta transfer it into that. I think this thing is gonna mold it back into it. So we're just gonna slide it off. Relatively easy. I am going to close it up now. I used my bare hand, it wasn't too hot, but do use the mitt if you have it. Now let's read how long. Most pizzas will be ready in approximately 10 to 25 minutes or until the cheese bubbles and turns golden brown. Take note of perfect baking times for each type of pizza you create for future reference. So I guess you need to have a pizza journal for this product where you are journaling every time you make a pizza on like the best times, how long it took. All right, we'll be back in 10 minutes. We are five minutes in and there's smoke, ladies and gentlemen. This thing, I don't think it's on fire or maybe it is. Look how much smoke there is. This is making me concerned. There's also a fire alarm right above us. I'm very concerned. I'm, I think I should check on it. Oh my God. Uh oh, it's looking good. The cheese is bubbly, but it's not brown. Maybe that was just steam that wasn't smoke. And that's our halfway through update. I'll keep watching this thing like a hawk and update you guys in five more minutes. Okay, we are at 10 minutes. It still looks like it's on fire, but it's not. Let's take a look at how it's coming out. Oh, okay. I'm shocked by like how bubbly and kind of crispy this cheese is getting. I'm gonna check the bottom to see how brown it is. Oh, it's getting a nice brown on the bottom. I don't think it's done all the way though, because this edge is pretty light. So I'm gonna let it go for like 
four to five more minutes. It's been 17 minutes and I think, ooh, this, this is a pretty pizza. I am shocked, but it is only job really is to make pizza. Like that's what it's called, pizza maker. So it needed to make it well. This looks great. I'm gonna transfer it. Oh, oh, oh. And it says to unplug it as soon as you're finished. So I'm gonna do that right now. It would be great if these things had on and off buttons, but no. It also says keep away from your children when using this. So this is not a kids interact with you thing. Even though kids love pizza. Let's look at the bottom. It is nice and golden brown. I would have loved for the edges to get a little bit more brown, but I feel like our cheese was gonna start to burn. So you got like nice crusty cheese right there. I don't wanna get too much more crusty. Okay, to finish this off, I'm gonna put some basil on top. I, I always think a little green, never hurt anyone. And it smells so delicious. I'm gonna shred it up because I don't have a lot. You could do whole leaves, but with the pepperoni, I feel like you wanna go a little smaller. I learned this little trick from my friend Joe Sasto. He likes to sprinkle his with a little sea salt at the end, and I think it adds a great little flavor and it just makes it look really, really fancy, even though this wasn't that fancy. The only thing we now need to do is cut into this and try it. I sliced the pizza, now it's time to test it out. Ooh. Oh, it looks nice and cooked through it. It's not too droopy. I'm liking this. Okay, here we go. Mmm. So oh, hot. I am shocked how well that cooked that pizza dough. It has a nice crust on the bottom that cooks so nicely. And the pepperonis are nice and crisp. Maybe they could have gotten like a little bit crispier. Like that's also causing some of the oil on top. I think this is pretty comparable to a normal oven. I think you would have gotten a better bake on the edges of your pizza, but I'm pretty impressed with the, the crunch of the cheese on top. Obviously, you kind of made it at home. It tastes a little bit more like delivery pizza than like a fancy pizza that you would have gotten in like a brick oven or something. For taste, I would give this pizza a B plus. All right, that made a pretty good pizza. I was impressed. And as far as the cleanup, this didn't get too messy. None of the cheese like burned and stuck to it. I think all I would need to do is get a paper towel with some soap and water and wipe it out. If you know someone that loves gadgets and they love pizza, it might make a great gift for the holidays. It's definitely not necessary, but it did work. Also, the box says it can make nachos, s'mores, a big cookie, like one of those giant cookies you can put ice cream on. So it does make plus stuff. Overall, I'm gonna give this a thumbs in the middle. It worked well, but I'm not sure it's necessary. Like, I don't think you need it, but it is cool. Oh, yes. 